We dream of finding beautiful, undiscovered spots, tucked away high up in the mountains. Magical places we'll slip away to and forget about the problems of the world. We become fixated on the adventure, to find those places that no one else has ever known. Maybe, though, we should focus on the simple pleasures, like taking that back road hidden in the hillside, because here is where you'll find the stories of yesteryear, the tiny spots on the map that hold the rich history that led us here today. Here in a serene and coveted spot in the eastern Sierra, a small town still exists today and tells the story of a silver boom town during the height of the gold rush in California. It became popular in the mid-1800s, but had been a coveted spot for thousands of years prior for its isolated geothermal spring and mineral-rich land. Check it out! I found the source. Look how blue the pool is. There's a ton of water coming out of that pipe. It's a huge pipe in the ground. The spring emerges from the ground at a rate of around 800 gallons per minute and is extremely hot. The earth is so amazing. So cool. It's been used for generations as a town's water source as well as a source for the hot springs you can soak and relax in nearby. Yep. I said hot spring, let me show you this really special place I found on my way up to the mountains. Here at this campground, they've built multiple man-made pools at each campsite, each one different and each fed by the natural hot spring. I saved the best tub for last. Check out this view. This is my campsite. Got a nice little tub with a hillside view behind me. You can just walk right up the stairs. And that's the tub. Picnic table, fire pit. A nice mountain view behind. I'm going to go ahead and get changed so that I can go ahead and jump in the tub before the sun goes down. It's going down really fast. of this thing is absolutely perfect and it's so clean sun setting so nice probably one of the hottest tubs I've actually sat in thankfully you can control the temperature with this guy right here Honestly, the best campground I could think of to come here with friends and family. You could just soak in a hot spring and enjoy a campground. Just a little bit different than what I'm used to. I'm usually out in the middle of nowhere. This is not quite so private. But other than that, it's absolutely beautiful here. Good morning. Welcome to another beautiful day. Right now, I'm just chilling inside my camper, getting ready to head up to the mountains to do some exploring. Probably gonna go snowboarding, get a little bit of exercise and some vitamin D because it's beautiful out. Just finishing getting ready for the day, which brings up today's sponsor. Thanks to Native for sponsoring this video. I've been using their aluminum-free deodorant for a while now and I really like it. It's aluminum-free, paraben-free, cruelty-free, and vegan. It goes on really smooth, it isn't sticky, and it dries really fast. Not only that, but they use simple, familiar ingredients like coconut oil and shea butter. Right now, I have the lavender and rose, the eucalyptus and mint, and the coconut and vanilla. The coconut and vanilla is my favorite of these three scents. It's just the perfect touch of coconut and a little bit of sweet vanilla at the end. 
I love anything coconut and it really just reminds me of the beach. But the eucalyptus and mint is really refreshing and the lavender and rose is nice and floral and delicate. But if you want to try a different scent, they have a large variety of scents to choose from and they have limited edition scents that you can switch it up with every now and then. It stays on all day, even when you're out moving around, exercising, snowboarding down the mountain like I will be. And they offer a plastic free edition, which is awesome because it's the same great deodorant formula but without plastic. They also offer body products such as body wash, and toothpaste. Three deodorants would be $39, but with my Lincoln code DRHANNA, they're only $26, which is over 33% off. With my code, you can also get 20% off body wash or toothpaste. So if you want to check them out, make sure you go to the link below in my description. And now, let's put on this stuff and go snowboarding. This is the fifth mountain I've made it to this season. I'm trying to make it to as many as I can. Can't quite make it to the top right now because it's closed. You see that lift isn't running. The snow conditions right now are actually pretty bad, but it's still a beautiful view. Check out the peak behind me. Never gets old. This right here, my friend, is a wood-fired pizza oven. I bought this thing about a year ago and I just haven't had a chance to use it. So tonight will be my first experience using a wood-fired pizza oven. It's pretty simple, it just runs on wood pellets, but I gotta get the pizza prep, so let's head inside because it's really cold and get this thing going. Are you ready to make some homemade pizza? First step is the homemade sauce. Put some garlic. Mmm. You can never have too much garlic. Keeps the vampires away. Especially when you're out camping in the wild by yourself. Oh, just kidding. I'm at a campground. I don't have to worry about it tonight. I just have some whole skinned tomatoes that I'm going to mash. Mm, the basil smells fantabulous. I wish I could let you smell it through the camera. It's the best part of Italian food is fresh basil. I already got some spices going, but I forgot. I wanted a little bit of garlic salt. This is just some Italian seasoning, dry basil, garlic salt, and then some fresh basil. This is simmering away, reducing. Not quite sure how I like the way the dough turned out, but we'll see how it tastes. Because taste matters more than anything, right? So we're gonna take some sauce. Fresh mozzarella on. Three, four. I don't like too many. I think she looks pretty delicious, given that uh, this is the first wood fire pizza I've ever made. I'm ready to go slip her in the oven and let her cook. I just pulled it out and I think it was a semi-success. I think it looks delicious. The crust is a little thicker than I'd like, but I'm stoked. It looks amazing. Hannah's International Pizza Shop is now open for business. I'm accepting orders. You might just have a couple days wait before it reaches you. <laughs> Ooh, crispy. Waited a little too long. I added some fresh basil, I almost forgot. Mm. On a scale of homemade pizza, I would rate this maybe a seven. Look at that crust. It's nice and brown. What would make this even better is some homemade ranch. I don't know when that started happening, but now I rarely eat pizza without ranch and 
when I go to a real Italian restaurant and I ask for ranch, they just look at me with disgust and we're like, we don't have ranch. And I'm like, fine, no big deal. I'm tired. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my pizza and get some shut eye. Don't forget to leave me a comment below and let me know what type of pizza you want me to make you next. I got to get some more practice with my pizza oven.